Good morning, everybody. It's Into the Stars. We're going to cover the Book of Enoch. We're going to try to give some clarity to what exactly is being spoken of in the Book of Enoch through research. Let's take a look at Chapter 8 in the Book of Enoch, and I want you to focus your attention on this passage. It talks about Azazel, one of the demons, teaching men to make swords and knives and shields and breastplates and made known to them the metal of the earth and the art of working them and bracelets and ornaments in the use of antimony and the beautifying of the eyelids and all kinds of costly stones and all coloring tinctures. Now let's take a look at what antimony is. Antimony is actually an element now, it has been known since ancient times for use in cosmetics, which goes right along in line with the statement of the beautifying of the eyelids, which is eyeshadow. It also says here that the largest application for metal metallic antimony are for the alloying, alloying of material for lead and tin and for batteries and this is interesting alloying lead and tin improves the properties of the alloys which are used in bullets and plain bearings bullets now this goes right along with this statement here knives shields breastplates and metals war making materials which bullets would fall in line with that. Now, it also says here that antimony is used in microelectrics, which is necessary to achieve the computing power that we see today with modern electronics. Is this all starting to make sense to you guys? Now, it might be also interesting to you for you to note that antimony, the symbol for it, is the symbol that we use for sexual orientation. This is the symbol for antimony. And it says here, it was recognized in pre-dynastic Egypt as an eye cosmetic in 3100 BC. Now, we talk about the roots of the Nephilim being from Egypt. This confirms this the cosmetic palette was invented and of course cosmetics have come down all the way to the present day now it also mentioned the cutting of roots and enchantments let's take a look at what root cutting has brought us in the present day ayahuasca a very popular enchantment inducing root we also understand that many of the pharmaceuticals that we have to this day come from the roots of plants as well. This was all taught to us by the Nephilim from the Book of Enoch. So, how does this all apply to the present day? Well, let's take a look. Now, in the Book of Enoch, it states here in chapter 10 that when their sons have slain one another and have seen the destruction of their beloved ones, bind them fast for seventy generations in the valleys of the earth till the day of their judgment and consummation. Well, how long is seventy generations? Well, here's an article. Why Lake of Fire, Nephilim, may return this year. This was back in 2008. But let's see what they have to say about the days of judgment. The 70 generations which Enoch said would transpire from the time of the flood until the date of these events. Because according to the modern research, the roughly estimated date for the biblical flood was between B.C. 2800 and 2900. When you consider that a prophetic generation is 70 years based on Psalms, 
90-10. The days of our years are three score years and ten. Enoch 70 generations times 70 years equals exactly 4,900 years forward from the flood, bringing us to the current hour. Is mankind therefore standing on the threshold of the watchers being thrown into the abyss of fire and the giants returning? Does Enoch's dating of the final judgment as occurring following 70 generations from the flood also indicate a looming time frame for the judgment seat of Christ? So, that is what is spoken of in Enoch 10. Here's an interesting passage in Enoch 15. It talks about why we were given, as humans, the right to reproduce. This is God talking. It says, Though ye were holy, spiritual, living the eternal life, and he's talking about the angels, you have defiled yourselves with the blood of women, and have begotten children with the blood of flesh, as the children of men have lusted after flesh and blood, as those do who die and perish. So this is our natural state of sin to lust after flesh and blood therefore I have given them wives also that they might impregnate them and beget children by them and thus nothing might be wanting to them on earth but you were, were spiritual living the eternal life and immortal for all generations of the world and therefore I have not appointed wives for you for as for the spiritual ones of heaven in heaven is their dwelling so he's basically speaking about why he did not give the angels the ability to reproduce because their dwelling is in heaven and now the giants who are re are produced from the spirits of flesh shall be called evil and spirits upon the earth and on the earth shall be their dwelling evil spirits have proceeded from their bodies because they are born from men from the holy watchers as their beginning and primal origin. They shall be evil spirits on the earth. This is why in this time of the end we are dealing with all the evil on the earth. Now there is hope. It says here this is back to ver uh, chapter 10 that in the days of judgment wh whosoever shall be condemned and destroyed will from thenceforth be bound together with them at the end of all generations and destroy all the spirits of the reprobate and the children of the watchers because they have wronged mankind destroy all wrong from the face of the earth and let evil work come to an end every evil work and let the plan of righteousness and truth appear and then shall all righteous escape and live they shall live till they beget thousands of children in all the days of their youth and their old age shall they complete in peace that is the hope and the, and the whole earth will be tilled in righteousness and shall all be planted with trees and full of blessing and all desirable trees shall be planted on it and they shall plant vines on it and the vine which they plant thereon shall yield wine in abundance and for all the seed which is sown there on each measure shall bear a thousand so there will be a time of abundance for those who persevere until the end take care be safe you guys